Hello and welcome to another quick Procreate Dreams tutorial. So today I want to share with you how you can animate falling snow in Procreate Dreams and that is actually very easy to do. Now I've got my little illustration here. If you want to import an illustration you've done in Procreate all you have to do is to tap these three dots, go to split view and then open Procreate and now you could drag any illustration you've got into Procreate Dreams. And you can see this. Oh, it's already doing it. I didn't want to do that. So I will just cancel it. Yes, but as you could see, um, you can import your artwork into Procreate Dreams. So I've already done that. So I will close the split view here. Now, I need a new track where my snow will be, so I hit the plus sign, hit track, and then I will go into drawing mode by heading, by tapping that little squiggly line here. And let's see, oh, I think I can leave it like that. Um, as a brush, I will be using the Driven Snow Brush. It's a Procreate Natives brush that is in the Elements section and tap done no sorry i will be using a white okay and then i will be painting my snow and i will already paint a little bit snow in there and even more up here so because this snow will be falling down now and the way i do that just tap done. First of all, right now, this little snow part just extends this one frame and I want that to extend the whole length of the track. So what I will be doing is make it a bit longer and then I will tap and hold and go to fill duration. So, and no, oh, three fingers, do it back. So, and now it will or it does already extend the whole length of my video. Now, the next thing I will do is to tap that little record button here. And don't worry, it doesn't record yet. It will just start when I start moving something. And I will do that by just making that snow slowly fall down. So I will just start now. And I don't know if you can see it but it started recording and uh, now it's done and let's have a look how that looks yes and it's moving a bit from side to side and i think that's okay though in the beginning it looks a bit too can't find the word for that a bit too hectic maybe so maybe I will do it again and you can, no, I don't want to delete the track. I want to delete this, delete move and scale. So now it's not animated anymore. So I could do it again. I will just have to drag that snow somewhere here again. Oh, it's already okay. Um, so. What you can do is to hold down one finger and then it snaps. But, and honestly, it hasn't worked that well for me as of right now. So I will try that again. Maybe it will work now. So again, hit the record button. And I think if I do it right in the beginning, just start and then I... So and now it has snapping on and... Okay, it comes down a bit. A bit more straight. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I like that better. Now, oh, stop that. I feel that I need another track with more snow, so I will be adding one more. Go to track, and maybe I will be using another snow brush. So I've got one which I created myself a while ago. Let's see, it's here in imported. Um, it's Snowfall and it's just very round dots. It looks more illustrated than this one. I will try to use that. So 
tap done go into drawing mode and I will be adding these snowflakes as well probably can't see them that right now but it's these very round dots here which I'm adding as well so and I will be doing the same to these so first of all I will double tap that make it a bit longer and then fill duration so make the track longer again and then I will hit the record button and also make that one fall down so let's see I will make it a bit faster than the other snow so let's see how that looks Now I feel that I want this to be a little more translucent. So what I can do is to go to the beginning of the track, hit that playhead, is it called playhead, play clap? I don't know. Hit that little symbol here and then go to, let me see, to filter, go to opacity and I will lower the opacity a bit. And then also drag that over how do I get over? Drag that over to the end. I still find it a bit hard to navigate here. And I think if I tap that now, yes, so it's it copied that um, keyframe here. And so the opacity of this layer should be lowered now. And I think it is. So let's see one more time. If I do a four finger tap, I can see the whole illustration. Yes, and that's much better. Okay, that's about it. I hope to see you soon for another tutorial. Bye.